Hey YouTube, it's Adam from Ama Music Mobile. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to get that versatile pluck synth that the Chainsmokers uses in their latest track, Setting Fires. So let's get straight to it. It's all said and done, we're going to get a pluck sound that sounds something like this. So let's go ahead and make that sound from scratch. I'm going to bring in a new software instrument track. And we're going to bring in Lenar Digital Silent 1. And we're just going to initialize this preset here because we're not going to be working off of anything. I'm going to copy down this MIDI over here and I think I'm going to leave in that snap. So for our first oscillator, we're going to go ahead and change this to a sine wave. Turn down stereo all the way, push up the voices to 8. For our second oscillator, the waveform will be a trisaw. Turn down the stereo, pull the voices up to 8, and pull the detune up to about uh, 11 o'clock. And for this oscillator, we're actually going to pitch this down one full octave. So for our third oscillator, or oscillator B1, we're going to put in another sawtooth oscillator and I'm just going to pull the voices up to 8. Pull the volume down on that one. Put another sawtooth over here on oscillator B2. Turn off retrig, pull up the voices to 8. And for filter B here under the part B section, we're going to put the input select to no input. Next, let's go back to part A and work on our filter over here. So we're going to be talking to oscillators part A and B, what we just said. The filter type is going to be a low pass filter. We're just going to bring that down all the way, pull up the drive to about 9 o'clock. Now you're not really hearing anything yet because we're going to bring in some uh, modulation onto our cutoff filter. So let's do cutoff A and B and modulate that with an envelope here. Let's just turn this up to about 4 o'clock. All right, something like that is good. I'm just going to turn on the volume a little bit here. It's getting a little loud. For We're going to put in another modulated envelope here on the cutoff filter A and B. Push this up to about 2 o'clock and just pull up your decay a little bit. Now let's go back up here to our amp envelope and sort of adjust this to mold it into a nice pluck sound. Alright, so something like that sounds good. Let's just pull up this key track over here and pull up the resonance. Let's pull down the cutoff. Alright, so now that we got our pluck sound going over there, let's apply in some of the effects. So for our chorus, Let's go ahead and just uh, play this out here. Pull down the rate all the way, the depth all the way up. Let's turn off dual mode and bring down your wetness to about 9 o'clock. Next, let's add in some EQ. 
Let's cut out a lot of, of the low parts starting around 90 hertz. Let's cut up a little bit of the treble or the higher end. Something like that is good. Let's turn on mode to two pole. Next, let's go ahead and just add some quick compression here. Just to kind of get it a little tighter, let's just bring down our threshold to about 10 o'clock. So that's before the effects. Add in a chorus, some light EQ, and compression. Next, let's go ahead and open up a Logic EQ and just cut out, make sure that those lows are out of there. Let's go ahead and bring in a sample delay and get that Haas effect happening just to widen up our sound as you hear in the track setting fires. And the way you do that is bring in a sample delay plugin, delay by samples about 200 milliseconds, sorry, 200 samples. And that instantly widens up that sound. Next, let's bring in a reverb. Uh, let's use Space Designer. And if we bring that in with the rest of the tracks, way Chainsmokers applied this in their track, they sort of modulated or sorry, sorry, automated the cutoff filter right here to bring it into the next parts of the song. So what they would do is have it run like this for the verse, and then as they change up into another part of the track, they would pull up or automate this cutoff filter right here. So that's how you make that pluck sound, a very versatile pluck sound for that from the track setting fires by the chain smokers. If you do have Lennar Digital Silent 1, I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a preset for you. You could find that link in the description box below so you don't have to do anything that I just did. Just download that preset, load it in, and you're good to go. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comments section below. And for more good videos like this, remember to go crazy on that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.